Okay, welcome to the October 19, 2010 meeting of the Glendale Redevelopment Agency. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. City Clerk? Yes, one moment. We're just getting the computer started. Thank you. Uh, agency members Draymond? Here. Najarian? Here. Quintero? Weaver? Here. Chair Friedman? Here. Can we hear your report, please? The agenda for the October 19, 2010 regular meeting of the Glendale Redevelopment Agency was posted on Thursday, October 14, on the Bolton Board outside City Hall. Thank you. What's next? Next is approval of minutes. So moved. Second. Okay. By unanimous consent, the minutes are approved. What's next, please? Um, next is. Is the date right on those minutes? October 12th. We caught up, I guess, too. Yep. Okay, what is next? Next is oral communications. I have one card, Herbert Milano. He's gone. Okay, he has gone. Uh, so what is next? Next item on, an item on the business agenda at 6A is Director of Community Redevelopment and Housing regarding Alex Dater quarterly report for the period of April 1, June 30th, 2010, and the final audited year-end financial statement from Glendale Arts and approval of roof replacement and ADA upgrade project. At 6A1 is a motion to note and file quarterly report and year-end financial statement. 6A2 is a resolution authorizing the preparation of specifications, bid documents, and solicitation of bids for the Alex Theater roof replacement project. At 6A3 is a resolution authorizing the preparation of specifications, bid documents, and solicitation of bids for the Alex Theater ADA upgrades project. Uh, Ms. Friedman, could I just ask a housekeeping question? Yes. And all three motions being moved at one time? Thank you. Okay. So who are we going to? Yes, we'll go to Elena Bobolian, Senior Administrative Analyst for the Staff Report. Elena. Okay. Um, agency Chair and members of the agency, we're here to, today to report on the fourth quarter financial operations of the Alex Theater. During the past um, three months of the last fiscal year, Glendale Arts faced some financial um, challenging times just as any nonprofit. However, they were able to successfully present four major presentations. Two of those included a comedy show with the popular act Kev Orkian and a sold out performance by John Cleese. They also launched a new orchestra with performances at the Alex Theater and the Americana at Brand. They are also required to have an annual audit and I'm happy to report that the audit for their fiscal year um, did not discover any material weaknesses or deficiencies and the auditors did not recommend any accounting practice changes. Moving on to the capital improvement projects, we're requesting agency approval to move forward with a roof replacement project and ADA upgrades. We're proposing to break those out into two phases, with phase one being the hiring of a consultant to evaluate the roof and also to determine which ADA upgrades need to be implemented. And phase two would be based on the findings from the um, hired consultants. And uh, we'll report back to the agency on the findings from uh, both of those consultants. Jack uh, Alloway and Barry McComb from the Alex Theater are here to answer any specific questions, but that concludes my report. Are there any questions? Yeah, I just have one of Elena. Is UCLA going to be at Oregon this Thursday? I'm going to be watching. I hope so. I'm sorry, I had to throw that in. She loves UCLA. Okay. Any other questions? I'll save the rest for Mr. McComb. Okay, thank you very much. I don't have any other cards on this. Um, Mr. McComb, did you want to speak? Uh, I'm I, I have a question of him. You have a question? Okay. If not you about, fill, foot, if you not can, about football. If you can fill out a card afterwards. Larry, the ADA upgrades, since it's a historical theater, how much leeway do you have to make modifications? That's actually the purpose of the assessment we're going to do. The city undertook a broad assessment of the theater about two years ago, which came back uh, really with an assessment that is more appropriate for any building. 
but as a historically designated structure, we really need to take that assessment and determine what's appropriate uh, for uh, a registered uh, historic structure. And then once we get those recommendations, then we'll come back with a list of the uh, uh, changes that need to be done. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? I will point out that in your report, you mentioned uh, the possibility of putting solar panels on the Alex, which um, I appreciate the, you know, the goals. We actually uh, did an assessment uh, two or three years ago using a local firm. At that time, the technology and weight of the panels didn't make sense for us, particularly with the curvature and, right. and uh, orientation of our roof. But the industry has come a long way since then, so we felt uh, while we're uh, assessing the integrity of the roof at this point, it also makes sense to take a new look at that and see uh, what kind of impact we can make on our energy usage. Great. That's very commendable, and I, I wish you the best with it. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay. I'll move 6A, 1, 2, and 3. Second. Okay, can we have a roll call? Agency member Strayman? Yes. Najarian? Yes. Quintero? Weaver? Aye. Chair Friedman? Yes. What is next, please? The next S6B is a public hearing. Director of Community Redevelopment and Housing regarding request from ARTN TV for a 28 space parking exemption. Uh, for expansion of their broadcasting production studio located at 4407 San Fernando Road. That B1 is a motion approving parking exception subject to conditions. Okay, do we have a report? Yes, Annette Vartanian, Staff of Redevelopment Agency for the Staff Report. Yes. Annette? I, I, I appear, but it's not. Okay, I'm going to open the public hearing. Good afternoon, agency chair and agency members. I'm here to present on ARTN TV's request for a 28 parking exception. 28 space parking exception. ARTN TV is a 24 hour Armenian and Russian broadcasting network that airs live and pre recorded entertainment shows. It is a type of use that the agency has expressed support for in the creative corridor area. ARTN TV is proposing to expand its current broadcasting production studio to 4407 San Fernando Row. Um, uh, the expansion requires an additional 28 spaces that cannot be met on site. This is a code requirement. As such, ARTN TV has secured the code required um, parking off site through a parking agreement with Glendale Builder Supply, which is located next door. The parking agreement is for 60 spaces and it limits the use of the parking spaces to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Um, this actually coincides with the broadcasting studio's um, hours of operation. Um, it is important to note that a letter opposing the um, request was submitted by um, HSDI investors, but ARTN TV is outreaching to um, the, the um, to HSD investors um, to explain the parking agreement um, and to address any concerns that they may have. Um, staff has done the analysis for the exception and is recommending uh, approval of 28 space parking exception. That concludes my presentation. The representatives from ARTN TV um, are here and I will be happy to share the letter um, with you from HSD. Okay, I do have one question. Which is what? Ha how long is the um, parking lease agreement with Glendale Builders, and what happens if they sell their business or change their mind? What would happen then? The parking agreement is good for five years, and we've included as part of the motion conditions um, <coughs> relating to that specific concern. It's limited to five years, and um, the condition states that the hours of operation have to coincide with the parking agreement. And so in five years, um, we can come back and reanalyze um, the, the parking situation for um, ART and TV and see if they um, are going to be um, expanding even more, if they're going to provide parking on site or with GBS. So if Glendale Builders mm -hmm. changed, if they moved somewhere else and someone else came in, they would be obligated to still offer the same, they'd have to honor that five-year agreement? Um, I am going to defer to legal. Um, Madam Chair, members of the agency, not necessarily, and that's why uh, condition number four in the parking exception is should the parking agreement be terminated prior to the five-year period set forth 
uh, in section three above the um, that is the, the five year parking agreement this exception this parking exception shall terminate unless further extended after notice and hearing by the agency so if there is a change in use that would earlier terminate this five year agreement could come back to the agency for a reassessment there may be an opportunity for the user to find an alternative arrangement which would allow them to continue to have off-site parking otherwise they would lose their Okay. Yes, they would. That makes me feel a lot more comfortable about this. Um, I, mm -hmm. That they've gone out and they've made arrangements for that parking, and it's five years, and that um, they understand that that's the condition of, of keeping this this usage. Are there any questions for anybody? Um, just a few comments. This, in fact, is a business that I referred to several weeks ago, uh, who had been trying for years to obtain. Uh, occupancy permits for a addition to their television studio that currently is on uh, San Fernando Road. Um, this, the use of the, the addition, uh, the additional space will not be a daily use as I understand it. It's for special events to occur mainly in the evenings, um, taking into account the concerns that HSD investors have. Um, I don't think that any of the uh, people attending these events are going to interfere with any of the parking for the businesses or the buildings that they own. Uh, this is a great uh, station. They broadcast worldwide. Uh, they're seen regionally as well. Um, they have a, their day-to-day -day operations are that of a, a small television studio, and they don't have a huge impact on the neighboring uh, parking uses. And it's just for their special events where they'll have uh, you know, comedy shows, entertainment, and they will actually be doing filming as well inside that new uh, additional space where uh, I think they'll really put Glendale on the map uh, to a greater extent than we already are. And I think it's a great use. It goes right along with the uh, mm -hmm. intended uh, creative corridor. And uh, I'm ha very happy that staff was able to bring this through. Um, not that I yelled or screamed. I didn't yell, did I? No. I was, but I was very concerned about this, truth be told. I'm very glad that it came forward and that I would encourage my colleagues to, uh, to support this. They have gone uh, far enough to secure that extra parking in the Glendale Builder Supply, so there should be very minimal impact, uh, if any, to the uh, neighboring community during the use of that additional space. Thank you. Mr. Weaver? Yeah, we were all just hand a letter, and I wanted to read in the record just to ask a question. It's from HSD Investors LLC. It says to the redevelopment agency, gentlemen, we are very concerned about the agency granting a parking exception for 28 parking spaces. We own 12 buildings adjacent to the subject property. Our building addresses are as follows 4400, 4412, 4420, 4424 and 4432 of San Fernando, as well as 371, 373 A, B, and C, Palmer, and 410, 412, and 414 Chevy Chase. Street parking is very limited. We now have neighbors' employees parking all day in our tenants' uh, spaces. Allowing a parking exception will only exasperate the problem. Please deny the exception request. Now, says all day, but this is in the evening, five on. Have we contacted this owner and explained the situation? I mean, to get this last minute, it's like they haven't been contacted or know anything about it. Well, they were um, noticed, but um, staff has left a message at the number to talk to the person who um, is concerned about the parking exception. ARTN TV is also outreaching to the person who wrote the letter to explain the business operation. So I'm going to let them know um, the, 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 the request from the applicant, the research that we've done, and explain the operations and the conditions that we're placing on the exception. And ARTN TV will be responsible for explaining on their behalf. Do they know that now? No, I haven't spoken to them. I'm not certain if ARTN TV has had a chance to outreach to them. This letter is unsigned and undated, but it's dated. Oh, wait, it's dated. I'm sorry. A week yeah. ago. I'm sorry. Didn't yeah, it was emailed friend. to one of our staff members that was then forwarded to me. It would be nice to know what they thought after you explained everything to them, but I assume since the, um, the um, TV studio is going to be there in the evening hours, it won't conflict with the workers during the day. 
on that basis, I can't see a problem. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Draymond. No, the issue, I was just going to mention the, the date. Um, because it was mentioned this just came in and it's, it's dated about uh, six days ago. That's right. October. My reading glasses on. It's okay, Mr. Weaver. I said the same thing about uh, ten, two weeks ago. I didn't have my glasses here. And anyway, yeah, it's about uh, almost a week ago. I do have one last question, which is. Um, are any of the new incentives that we've been tr putting into place for the San Fernando corridor, for the creative corridor, did any of that help this process along? Um, we actually, um, I became aware of this request because the applicant was in the plan check process and during that process we realized that they needed a parking exception so we've been working with the planning department and building and safety to ensure that their permits are being processed quickly and this is the one thing that's waiting for um, everything to be approved. They need to have the parking exception in order to expand. So staff um, from the redevelopment agency is going to help push it through. Just to add to that, uh, many of those are not, uh, you haven't actually voted on those and put them in place. However, the one uh, key that we thought of is a, 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 a single point of contact for this area. That's what Annette acted as and, and how this process will work so that that manager can take them through uh, the planning uh, and any other department needs that they have. So in those suggestions, single point of contact is the one that we used here. Okay, I, I'm glad to see that it the, that that this process is bearing some fruit now, and I hope that other businesses, other creative businesses, uh, take advantage of that point of contact and any other incentives that we put into place. Um, our goal is to try to make uh, doing business in the San Fernando corridor um, easier and attractive to people. One last point: if this passes, will staff please come back after you've spoken to HSD and tell us what the reaction is? Thank you. Mr. Draymond. Um, I'll, I'll move the item if you're ready. Now, I do have a card. Did you only want to speak if there were questions, or would you still like to speak? Only if there are questions? Okay. All right. Thanks. So if we're going to deny it, yet you want to talk. Thanks, if we approve it, you don't need to talk, right? <laughs> and with that, I'll, I'll move the item at uh, B1. Close Excuse me, if the hearing is closed. Uh, um, hearing is closed. All right. Then we'll move uh, I'll move the item at uh, 6B1. I'll, I'll second it. Okay, can we have a roll call, please? Agency members, Draymond? Yes. Majorian? Yes. Quintero? Weaver? Aye. Chair Friedman? Yes. I'm not to speak. Thank you. What is next, please? Are there any agency member or staff comments? Any comments? Mr. Draymond? Um, a brief one, and it relates only tangentially to redevelopment, Madam Chair, but I want to raise it because it's time sensitive. Um, hoping staff may be able to help with this. I received a phone call from Steve Pierce, mm -hmm. the um, Crescenta Valley Chamber of Commerce. Anyway, they have uh, uh, the a AARP and Walgreens jointly have a, uh, a mobile health unit that they bring to different areas of the city where public and, and I think the emphasis is primarily seniors but not necessarily just seniors who can take advantage of uh, free health exams, uh, bone density exams, uh, testing for diabetes and blood pressure and so on, all free of charge. Um, they each year try to bring this, uh, this uh, sort of a mobile health center to different areas throughout the city. They've secured a place for that in Montrose uh, in tandem with the uh, Harvest Market there on a Sunday. They'd also like to uh, find a place for it in the heart of the city on December the 11th uh, in a you know a busy area um, and the, um, the the issue with the time sensitivity of this is they need an, an answer tomorrow as to whether we have some suggestions as to where they might basically it's a, a large mobile unit they bring it in they park it for the day and then they provide these services um, so do you know what day of the week that is? Uh, December 11th, I don't. No, okay. Um, well, in any case, um, December 11th, maybe staff can uh, take a look at yeah, what's going the, on that day, if we have any contact. events or a place that, yes, that we I'll, can put it and let them know today. I'll today pass Mr. Pierce's phone number along to the city manager. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments? Saturday. 
Saturday. It's a Saturday, by the way. All right. Seeing no comments. Move to adjourn. Second. We are adjourned. Thank you. Now it's time for our joint meeting.